Next, we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at the inside, see what we got. Oh, got it open. It actually doesn't use wires. It uses these large, almost like large stranded bus bars. It's stranded wire in there, you can feel it, but you can see how massive they are. This is probably one inch and it's all covered in heat shrink for the positive and the negative, so that will handle a lot of power. Never seen that in a battery before, very interesting. And the connections where they're made to the actual battery from the BMS are really good. There's a better look at that. That is very robust. Connections here look really good and very secured. We have a nice, large, beefy BMS. It's a very beefy BMS, has a large heat sink on there. And this thing's not even warm, even though we just pulled almost 300 amps through it. So right here, we actually have some metal. So this is gonna be, what feels like a metal frame is what encapsulates the cell. So we have a metal frame end cap here with this little riser in order to kind of provide a shelf for the lid to sit on. Then it's kind of hard to see, but right here is a metal bar. And that metal bar runs the whole length of the battery to the other side. So we have an entire metal cage encasing our cells, as well as giving something for the BMS to be mounted on. So that's really good to see that. I love seeing metal frames and batteries. Right here, it looks like we have a temperature probe. This is gonna be our balancing harness for the cells themselves. This is gonna to go to our Bluetooth module. So it runs over here down the center and goes to right this little module right there. There is insulation material between each cell. You can see a little bit of it here. We have nice, massive bus bars, really nice laser welded terminals. We have an expansion gap between the bus bars to let the battery expand. More insulation here. And it's hard to see, but on the sides where the metal frame is, there's also a piece of insulation between the battery cell case and the frame itself. Looks like we can get this loose if we're really careful. And there's a really good look at that metal bar that's sort of acting like a spine, as well as helping hold the battery cells in place. So you see our nicely connected balance wires, those all look good. Temperature sensor is actually attached to the battery cell, so that's good to see as well. And actually we have two temp sensors. We have one here and we have one here. This BMS does look really heavy duty. Massive, massive heat sink, even on the bottom. It's got a giant piece of aluminum. So the BMS they're using, it's Bluetooth enabled, it's very heavy duty, and the high current discharge protection actually works. So whatever BMS this is, is a very high quality BMS. 